Right, over now for a conversation right. that we don't have, Robbo. What's that? How's your health? Great. Looking fantastic. Mm. Feeling crap. <laughs> Hello, Peter. G'day, Robbo. Peter Welcome Gordon's the president the of the Western Bulldogs, who today have Jerry launched Whaley. a men's health initiative called yep. Sons of the West. The inspiration for this is what happens with Liverpool in the, in the Premier League and their community arm. Yeah. So, Peter, what's the ambition here? The ambition is to harness the power of footy and the passion that men feel for it to get some better health outcomes in the western region of Melbourne, which in many ways is a, a region that's like Liverpool. You know, the, the disease morbidities are higher there for issues like obesity and heart disease and uh, type 2 diabetes. And, and so this is a, a program which doesn't seek to do boot camps or get in pre-season training, but aims to make a real difference to men's lives through, through sensible uh, programs. And in terms of the AFL industry as a, as a, as a product, it's a, it's a great new initiative for us because it enables men in the western region of Melbourne and Bulldog fans to support the club by actually enrolling in this program, which is free. So the first point of contact is to see how your health is. Yeah, we're going to have an expo starting at the club on the 18th of May. You get a free health check, um, blood pressure, weight, um, and then you get enrolled in a program. We've got ambassadors, some of our heroes, Dougie Hawkins, Scotty West, Brad Johnson, Steve Crediuk. Um, who will represent each of the five major municipalities in the in the Western Region okay. uh, and go through a 12-week program. Well, I've changed that there. Remember that footage in the um, documentary? What was the documentary called again? Year of the Dog. Year of the Dog. Of the dog and, they, and the players had that strip on. <laughs> Life's changed a little bit out the Western Bulldogs, Peter. Yeah. You know, we had uh, the psychologist those d in those days sticking up uh, uh, posters above the urinals uh, saying, remember to always aim high. <laughs> <laughs> He later got uh, treated for uh, psychological issues himself. It was a tough year. <laughs> okay, right. Robbo, you're patient oh, oh, I'm here. So Tristan Harding Tristan. is a, a medical student. Uh, well, hang on, why Clinical is he... School. Sorry, Jared. So you would go through age, height, so, weight. Why have we only got a student? Why, why have <laughs> we got a real doctor give dealing me, with give me? Give me a few months. Yeah, we You'll asked the real right. doctors. They, they didn't, Come on, Tiger. Didn't want to See do that. I, tell me the truth too, because this could save my life. Mm -hmm. Can you, oh, no, I'm not having a prostate test, <laughs> mate. <laughs> That's next, buddy. Slide driving here, buddy. Oh, sorry. You yeah, all right? Oh, there we go. Have you had this done recently? No, no I don't know. You don't look like a man who has necessarily. Hey, I just hold my cigarette, can you, please? <laughs> <laughs> right, I pump it up. Talk, though. How, many, how was it today? How was the launch? Not sure what sort of cigarette that was. Yeah. Um, it was a great launch, yeah. uh, well attended. We're thrilled to have Andrew Dimitrio out there. How did um, he go? He spoke pretty well. He speaks like a man who's had a burden lifted from his shoulders. He does sound like that, doesn't uh, he? So it was great to have him there. Dougie Hawkins was magnificent. He was, um, he's Doug. Did, um, did you talk to him? Oh, Jared was out there. He's a big rap for the program, Jared. I spoke to him a bit earlier on. Um, like Charlie Sutton there, Pete. Yeah, Old, um, same body front, same kicking ability. <laughs> How important is it to you? I mean, you, you just don't start one of these projects and think, well, let's just do what Val are doing it. Clearly, you, clearly, it's something... Oh, dear. look, look, look. No, it's not too bad, sorry. What's not too bad? Blood pressure's all right. Wow. Is it all right or good? No, it's all right. You could be better. better, How, better how would you be better, Tristan? I think the main thing is you're just looking after your health more, healthy eating, uh, yeah. exercising, you know, keeping up to speed with all those and... Maybe being part of this program at the Western Border. Yeah, I'll West. try and get out there. I'll try and get out there. Well, not bad. It's good. Hey, let, let's, let's put it on muscles here. <laughs> 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 let's put it on you. Right, and I'll handle the show. A of football questions. I'll take. Let's talk about talk about uh, the dogs. I'm going to be quite frank with you, Pete. I'm disappointed in not the way they're playing. They, they're not finishing off the games at the start of the year. You said, you know, you're going to be a danger. Well, I don't like holding people to what they say because at the time, that's what they believe. But um, at round seven, I, I would have thought that they would be certainly further advanced up the ladder. Yeah, no, we're disappointed too. You know, we, we'd, we'd like to have won more games. Uh, I think that three of those games were eminently winnable. I'm really disappointed yeah. we didn't go on and finish the job against Essendon on, on Saturday night. I thought we would, and even into the last quarter, I thought we would. Same with North earlier in the season, and same with Adelaide, where we uh, you know, led led well. Uh, I think you can't really, you know, in the role of, as president, take too much from week to week. I think that if you look at the metrics over over three years since Mac has been there, the trend is good. Yeah, there's no uh, doubt about that. And uh, you know, I mean, I, 
Uh, it was Winston Churchill who once said the definition of success is to move from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what we stand for at the Bulldogs, and we hope to get the same outcome as Winston did. Are you all right, Tristan? Sorry, Robert, but uh, Jared's actually beat you on this one. Oh, no, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the healthier of the two. Oh, really? <laughs> really? I can't believe that. <laughs> Drink, smokes, goes out all night. Yeah, no, I can't believe it. Casino. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good on um, you, Thank you. I need to ask you a question, and I hope I don't embarrass you in here, but I think it's really important to know. And I, did you really commit $1 million of your own money to the football club, Pete? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Can I ask you why you did that? Yeah, uh, because uh, I was thrilled to be in a position to. You know, I first took over the club in 1989 when it was in receivership. Yeah. I was 32. I didn't have a brass rosette on my name. Uh, I used to dream of being in a position to, to do it. Life's been good to me. And I think the club is a really important part, not only of the AFL, but of the Western Region community that I grew up in. Um, so I'm not the only one that's done it. Yeah. You know, there are other people who are lifelong supporters of the, the club. We're in an, an era where if we can just bridge that that period between getting a real good revenue sharing system into place, then we will have achieved something. We're from in 1989, we're in real danger, real danger of extinction. Yeah, you were. To having a long-term yeah. permanent future as a flourishing member of the AFL. So I was thrilled to have the opportunity and it's money well spent from my point of view. And it's more than just the footy now as you speak about your connection to the Western region and that's obviously what this program is, Sons of the West. So the chance to, um, it's the, what's the expo day? Is yeah, 18th May of May. 18. Yep, yep. We're so looking that's for the starting. We're point. looking for every uh, supporter of the Bulldogs who's a bloke out in the, in the Western Region, and it's a way that you, even if you're unemployed, even if you're on a disability pension, you can support the dogs, and it's free. And you may may save your life. Indeed. Mm. Yep. You may, may save, save, may your, save life. your life. Robert. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll get out there. I'll get out there. Pete. It's, it's a good start. Uh, Pete, thanks for coming in. Thanks, guys. Peter Gordon with us, the Western Bulldogs president.